Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another video. This time I want to talk about something which is a common topic right now. Because of all the delays due to the Nurgle virus, well, our battle tomes and codexes are being pushed back and it's inevitable that they are outdated before they even arrive. I'm looking at you, custodies. But there is another topic, not that just everything should be a digital copy, not just with the Age of Sigmar app and the 40k app in which you scan a code, not even scan, you just enter a code and then you have the rules. No, the real books in the app, like in the first Age of Sigmar app, in which you could buy, uh, in which you could buy the battle tome, then you have all the story, basically just the book as an, an, an app. That's it. It had everything. It had lore, it had painting pages, it had, it had colored pages. It was on time. There was no waiting times. And that is how it should be. Digital. So, but there is another issue, not because of all the delays and you have to carry around 10 books at a time, so you uh, have to build up the upper body strength just to play a tournament or to play with your friends, I don't know, but it is ridiculous. In such an age that there is no feasible way for Games Workshop to put everything onto their own apps. And as I've said, not only the rules, the lore, the painting guides, everything, just the book in the app. Just give me the option when I scroll through the app, Stormcast Eternals Battle Tome, you want to buy? Yes. Make it a little bit cheaper, because you do not have to pay anything for paper, for distributions. And for everyone who doesn't know, ordering and distributing books takes time. It's not only the roots and the printing time, no. It is such an immense amount of time which is going into printing books and distributing them around the world. But there is one thing which is dear to me with the hardcover books. It is the limited edition super special collector's books of the battle tomes and codexes. Some might say they are a bit too expensive for what they are. And I agree. I have some. I'm not proud of it. But I agree. <laughs> so, I have the best example on how limited collectors super special editions changed over the last few years. My prime example is the Grey Knight series. Wait for it. Okay, up until now, since 3rd edition, we had four codexes. Codices? I don't know. I don't care right now. So we have 3rd edition, Demon Hunters. Yes, it's in German. There, I had no chance to buy the English one. There was no limited edition. It was just this flappy soft cover book, of which I'm very proud. But yes, it's just everything a normal codex as you would think of. So after that, again, no special edition, just the usual codex. And, but until then, there were a few special editions. I don't have them. Uh, I had some, I sold them because I needed money uh, to get through a university. Uh, I failed. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> so then I will go from the worst to the best. This is the latest codex. Yes, I've skipped one on purpose. 
This is the kind of collector's edition we have right now. It has just the special foliage. I don't know what it's called. Um, let me check. This is from the Codex Gene Stealer Cults Limited Edition. And this is beautiful. This edition is presented as a hardback with a black black ribbon marker, soft touch cover and silver foil blocking. Okay, that's also basically this. We have the black black ribbon marker. We have the soft touch cover, which you can't feel, but trust me, it's soft touch. It's hardback, as you can see, and it has the blocking. Okay, but ultimately it's not really that special it's just the book which we uh, which we are able to buy 24 7 after the release up until the next codex then we have the one earlier the by far superior limited edition book this is how limited editions should have been all the time this is with wrong side <laughs> with a magnetic seal and after that you have the book but it doesn't end there there are art prints in here and the number uh, which edition you have is printed right there but Hello, art prints? How amazing is that? Uh, this should be included every time in every collector's book. It doesn't end there. This has also... You, doesn't, you don't need it, but there's also the silver foil blocking. And it's not a black black ribbon marker, it's a red red ribbon marker. I don't want to get it out because I don't want to lose my favorite page in this book but yeah after that it's obviously the same old book but how amazing is that please more of this kind games workshop I love this book I spent so much on this book and I still love it more than any other limited edition book I have and I have many <laughs> As I said, I'm not proud of that because I only bought those which are dear to me. But please, more of those. More, please. Not the ones which you get when you buy uh, all the new releases at once. I don't know if someone said this earlier. And if someone did, thank you. But I have to reiterate, <coughs> I'm stupid. Of course I'm stupid. This is the last one. We have five codexes. <laughs> but it's the same thing. Like the one before. It has a black black ribbon, the soft touch cover and the silver foil blocking. Wow. <laughs> and yes, when the next Granite Codex will be released, I will also buy the limited edition. That's not the question. I just want a better one. <laughs> because if I have to pay almost the double of the amount which the regular codex costs, then I want a bit more than a soft touch cover, silver foil blocking and a black black ribbon. And yes, this will be a running gag now. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Because I'm an old dad and I just want... I just want my kids to do better than this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything more to say. This was just one of the things I always wanted to say. I can't remember the other ones, but now that this has left my mind there will be more space to think about other things which i can critique and which i want to be better yes <laughs> so yeah that was it that kind of digressed at the end but 
I hope you had fun. I had fun. <laughs> but as much as I critique these, I still want new stuff. I love new stuff. And yeah. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm keen to know what your thoughts are. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff. Because hitting buttons is fun. So, have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!